Uh, buyers lists, if you're dealing in a very wide market, uh, like as in the United States, all 50 states or 57 <laughs> states, uh, how the heck do you build a buyer's list? I mean, you got one in Abilene, Kansas, you get one in Rollins, Wyoming, which is a town of 8,000. That's the one I, uh, I think will get signed today. It's like, okay, so I can see using Zillow, you use Zillow, Facebook, or Zillow for sale by owner, you use Facebook Marketplace, you use Craigslist. How, I mean, I guess, I guess my question is, is how is it worth my time to build a buyer's list for Rollins, Wyoming? <clears throat> I mean, people are trying to get out of there, not move there. <laughs> you know, so, uh, the only thing that's keeping the town afloat is something called oil. Um, well, it's first. And that, and that barely, and that depends on the price of oil, which is not good right now for them. For us, it's great. Yeah. So, Jeff, Blair. You, yeah, you build I, it the same way. You build it Facebook. Craigslist, Zillow, and MLS. You just, you never, what you never do is you never waste a buyer lead. Buyers are important, especially cash buyers are the really the critical ones. So just trap everything you've got and you'll find people, I mean, more times than not, I could count where I was advertising in, for example, Bakersfield to get somebody to buy a property that wholesale property for cash and they may be there, they may not be there. They responded to an ad there. And the next thing you know, I sold them a house in Modesto. And you know, it happens. Uh, this, they all have value, so. Yeah. So the- All that information. It, it, all the buyer leads that come in, buyers and sellers, all of the leads that come in should be going into your database anyway. Right, yeah, so yeah. if you got everything set up, they should be going to MailChimp and you can just send out an email blast to them all if you want uh, for future deals. Yeah, at this um, point, I haven't done any advertising with, uh, with um, Abdul on, on buyers, uh, just sellers. Um, yeah. So I actually just was kind of thumbing through some of the sellers material this morning and some of it looks, some of it looks good. I mean, do I need to put up uh, investor care at websites. I mean, we have our main website. And I know stuff goes through there. We've actually gotten a couple of calls off that website now in the last week. Good. Uh, but I don't yeah, really have if, if you, buyers. Yeah, you can, or you could just use like an online flyer, like flyerco.com is one we use. So we put it up on our buyer's website and we use flyer, online flyers like that. You could do one or the other or both. <laughs> Um, but typically, you don't want to be listing your properties on your seller site. Um, I want to keep those separate because you're talking to two different audiences. Right. Yeah. Okay. Something else I got to do here. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> yeah. No, if it was yeah. easy, everybody would be doing it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like putting a bucket up there that says just dump money in here. You actually have to work this thing to make it. But once you get it going, you know, the system is there. The pipeline is there. It's all systematized. Yeah. So it's just a lather, rinse, repeat. Anthony's got a good idea in the chat. He said, Barry, you can join Facebook real estate investor groups in the main city nearest the property and post any properties you're trying to wholesale. And that that kind of goes to an, um, a, a point I wanted to make earlier uh, in response to your question here. You're talking about building buyers lists in Rollins, Kansas, or wherever it is. One way you could look at this, and it might be helpful, is you have to understand that, okay, building a buyer's list, all that really means is you're trying to find uh, buyers who are already out there and on a particular list, quote unquote, whether that's a mailing list of people who have purchased the property for cash in that area in the last year, that's a list, that's a buyer's list. But when we talk about building a buyer's list, then what we're talking about is extracting some of those people from that list and getting them onto our own list, which we now control and we can just send emails to them, right? So, but if you think about it, we don't have to build a buyer's list in any given market we go to. There are already existing buyer's lists. You just need to know how to tap into them. My preferred way is to use the property as bait and advertise it to attract them in. But you could very easily as well go pull that list from list source of people, cash buyers in the last year, and now you get a buyer's list. You see what I mean? Yeah, it, 
when when we were over at the uh, unspoken name company, um, they had a deal with list source that we could get uh, lists for three cents per name or whatever it was. Um, yeah. Do you guys have do you guys have a setup like that with list source as well? No, but there's yeah. also you know find cash buyers now Kent Clothiers thing. I don't know how helpful that would be, but there's a bunch of options. Find cash buyers now. Yeah, you know he's got his like vacant property data feed. He calls it find motivated sellers now. Well, he's got the flip side of that too. Find cash buyers now. Same kind of deal. You go on there, you tell it what geo area you're looking for, and and find me all the cash buyers. Then you pull down a list. What kind of fees are on that? Uh, last I checked, it was like you pay like fifteen hundred bucks for the year or something like that and just pull all the records you want, something like that. Okay. You may have changed it by now. All right. I'm going to yeah. start with a little hanging fruit first, the Craigslist, the marketplace, the yeah. uh, Zillow. Should you there do you Trulia go. or just do Zillow? I think Zillow, does, does, does it communicate? Just Zillow. I think it syndicates out to Trulia and Hot Pads if it's a rental. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, yeah. yeah. Not necessarily a rental, but okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot, Barry. Got you muted back there. Jeff, anything you want to add? Uh, contact all of your local REACs, uh, real estate investment clubs in the area, in the in the broad general area like Anthony has, uh, and then also any meetup groups. And there are yeah. a bunch of those. Yeah. You'll find cash buyers in both of those things. Yeah. You know, and it kind of goes to my point. There are there are buyers lists already existing out there that you can tap into. You don't necessarily have to build your own in Rollins, Kansas, um, but it does help because then if you ever get a deal near there, like you were saying, Bakersfield to Modesto. How far is that, by the way? I don't even know. Uh, about <clears throat> four four and a half hour drive. Okay. So a couple yeah. hundred. A couple hundred. That's plus a big miles. range. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> it's all considered local. You know, we, we we do stuff yeah. regularly in Southern California, six hours away. You know, yeah. Northern California, five six hours away. Um, it's you know guys here do that kind of stuff all the time. Yeah.